Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on July 30th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today for Daily Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun as we have a coronal hole facing right now, as well as plasma filament hanging out behind it. And more coronal holes developing behind the plasma, fil plasma filament. So as Ben Davidson said, let's hope that that plasma filament stays in place and does not snap while it's earth facing. So we do have some coronal hole space weather activity affecting our planet right now. We're going to see an uptick in seismicity looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. The largest was this 5.7 in Japan yesterday. Hashojima, Japan, 5.7 at a 52 kilometer depth. 4.9 going off Mariana's Trench. As well, the notable 5.3 today at a 60, 613 kilometer depth in the Tonga region. As well, 4.9 here in Indonesia, 4.8 and a 5.0. These are all in the very active volcanic line in Indonesia. 4.5 here in Argentina and a 5.0 in Panama. That was yesterday. Across North America, still watching small earthquakes. Ridgecrest. 3 point or small earthquake in Oklahoma. As well, Kansas. The last seven days for earthquakes. It's been semi-quiet for large earthquakes. But for deep earthquakes, that's a bit concerning. We do have a lot of deep earthquakes recently. So stay aware and prepared in your earthquake prone regions. Have a plan and be ready for anything. Much love to you all and thank you for watching today as well. This was the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Still watching a quiet zone here, even knowing we have small rumbles. Cascadia fault line has been very quiet. Wanted to show you guys here this situation in Russia. Large forest fires, many, numerous forest fires across Russia. And we're going to go back here to July 20th. And that's not even when they started, but this is when they intensified. And you can see day by day, more and more fires were started. And then all of that smoke gets sucked up into a low pressure system over North China. But this line of smoke goes all the way to Kamchatka, stretching halfway across the planet. And then we've got here two tropical cyclones to talk about. Eric is on the left, Flossie is on the right. Let's have a look at their satellite imagery right now. Storm coverage saying three storms, two named, and one area of interest. So this here is tropical cyclone Eric, who is a category two, heading towards Hawaii. Now the main track is heading south but there is a possibility that it may aim for the Big Island, as well as Flossie. Floss, Flossie's following right behind it. Here's a look at Flossie, turning into a Category 1 storm today. Expected to turn into a Category 3 in the coming days. So Hawaii could get a double punch of tropical cyclones 
it looks like they're going to be heading just south. But you never know these days. Weather can change quickly. Just like we have this large low pressure system south of the Caribbean. Tropical development. There's a 20% chance of that developing. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Here is the trajectories for the two storms. As you can see, Eric is projected to go just south of the Big Island, but Flossie is turning into a big storm. And I think Flossie will be the one to hit the Big Island, Hawaii. So stay aware and prepared, Hawaii, about four or five days from now, you could have a tropical cyclone on your doorstep. Overlooking North America, unstable air is moving away. We can enjoy our summer with some maybe summer rains. Extreme weather will be centered throughout Tornado Alley in the United States. Cool down across Eastern Canada, as well Western Canada. Temperatures reaching up to 29 degrees this week in Alberta. Could have some thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday. Monsoon rains still packing a punch this season. As well that tropical development that just went through Hong Kong. Definitely going to bring some severe weather to the coastlines in the South China Sea. Myanmar and Pakistan still inundated with these monsoon rains. Crazy videos and photos coming out all over the world recently from the extreme weather events that are increasing. Australia, not much to talk about. Except for the cold temperatures, southeastern Australia and Tasmania watching these large low pressure systems in the <clears throat> sorry in the southern hemisphere still strong large low pressure systems across africa could have a hurricane developing here off the coast of africa in the coming days as well i've been watching a low pressure center that developed on the continent across Europe, watching extreme weather events across Central and Northern Europe and into the United Kingdom as a large low pressure system came in. And as well, a very large low pressure center in Russia as well, spinning around for five days here on the forecast. Definitely going to bring some extreme weather as well with those warm temperatures in front of it. South America dealing with daily evaporation. And Argentina, the tip, receiving a butt ton of snow recently. So stay aware and prepare to Argentina. They could have a record snowfall for the season. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.